so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! And it's a really rainy day outside today. <laughs> but it's nice and dry in here. Whoa! And check it out! We're here at Adano's Gelati in London, England. <laughs> Today, we get to learn all about gelato! <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> I think it's right over there! Let's go take a closer look. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think I see someone who can help us get some gelato. <laughs> oh, hi there! I'm Blippi. What's your name? My name is Christian. Welcome to Adonis. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and do you work here? Well, I'm the owner. Whoa, that's amazing! Well, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Well, I was hoping to get some gelato today and escape the rain outside. <laughs> Do you think I could try some? Yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> great! Whoa, is that it over here? Yes, it is. Whoa, check it out! Real gelato! <laughs> yeah, do you see it? There are so many flavors. What flavor would you like to try? <laughs> ah, that, mm, that sounds really tasty. <laughs> Whoa, and look! Yeah, there's Hazelnut with real hazelnuts on it. <laughs> and pistachio with pistachios. Ooh, and, whoa, I think you know what flavor that is. Chocolate, yum. <laughs> well, all this gelato looks so yummy, but I also see some over here that's really brightly colored. It's yellow and red and orange. <laughs> is that gelato too? Well, that's sorbet, which is dairy-free gelato. And because it's dairy-free, the colors are much sharper. Whoa! <laughs> Gelato and sorbet. <laughs> I want to try it all. <laughs> Do you think we can taste some now? Of course. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Look at what it is. Gelato. <laughs> Christian, can I try this? Yes, you can. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it. Hmm. I wonder what flavor this will be. <gasps> oh, vanilla! <laughs> but Christian. What's this on the vanilla gelato? This is the vanilla pod we use to make the gelato. Whoa! You know vanilla came from a pod. <laughs> sure is tasty. <laughs> Whoa! And I think I know what flavor this is. <laughs> Can you guess what flavor this gelato is? <laughs> yeah! Cookies and cream! Because of all the cookies. <laughs> well, is this a popular flavor? Very popular. We put a lot of cookies into it. <laughs> mm. Ooh, I really like this flavor. Yeah, I think I could eat it all day, but we have more gelato to try. <laughs> okay. Green gelato? Huh. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> this is tasty. Hmm. Christian, what flavor is this? This is pistachio gelato. Oh, pistachio. Yeah, that's a kind of nut, it has a shell. And when you take the shell off of it, it's green. <laughs> we use pistachios from Sicily and they are so tasty because they grow on the side of the volcano in Sicily. Whoa, wait a minute. These pistachios grow on the side of a volcano? That's right. Hmm. Whoa, this is one of the best flavors yet. Yeah, it's kind of nutty. Mmm, and it's really sweet and creamy. Wow, <laughs> and to think, that these pistachios were from the side of a volcano. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> hmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> hmm. I think I could eat this all day. Well, I'm having a lot of fun trying it, but this is so tasty. I wonder, how is gelato made? Oh, Christian, do you think you could teach us how to make gelato? I think I can. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Follow me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on in, Blippi. Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> Where are we? We are in the gelato kitchen. Whoa, well, check it out. There are so many big machines to make all the gelato. <laughs> well, Christian, what's the first thing we need to do to make gelato? We need to change our outfit and become gelato scientists. Gelato scientists? Okay, here we go. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. We look like real gelato scientists. <laughs> well, Christian, how do we make gelato? Well, we need a gelato chef. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, but wait, what kind of gelato should we make? Hmm, well, I really like the color orange and I love mangoes. <laughs> Can we make mango gelato? Of course we can. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, we should probably meet the chef, right? Yep, okay. let's call him. 
Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? My name is Andrea. Andrea, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Can you teach us how to make gelato? Of course. <laughs> okay, well, what's the first step? The first step is to pour ingredients. Whoa, and check it out. It looks like these are all the ingredients we need. So what are they? Milk first. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, here we go. Pour in some milk. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, looks like we're gonna make a lot of gelato today. <laughs> Whoa! And is this also milk? This is a cream. Whoa, check it out. Double cream? Whoa! <laughs> Can I try pouring this in? Of course. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> One and two. Hmm. Well, we added the milk and cream. And sugar. Ooh. Whoa. Check it out. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. <laughs> There's so much sugar. And, and some water. Whoa. And look, it looks like the sugar is so fine that it's kind of smoky. <laughs> some water. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> we need to mix them. Oh, oh well, so do we mix it here? Yes. With a blender. Oh, and Andrea, this is a blender? Yes. Oh, well, how does it work? You put inside and then we start. Whoa! Can I try holding it? Yes, of course. Whoa, here we go. Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> We're mixing all the ingredients! Woo! Whoa, that's pretty fun. <laughs> Look at it go! How long do we need to mix this for? It's uh, ready. Oh, it's good? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can stop. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you want to hit the red button stop when you're done mixing. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, Andrea and I made this amazing batch of gelato mix, but hmm, Andrea, it's not frozen. Hmm. It's not frozen. Hmm. What do we do next? We have to put it in the machine. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> There's a big machine over here. And what's this supposed to do? This is a pasteurizer. Oh, whoa. So is that going to heat up the milk? Heat the milk, yes. Oh, good. Yeah, it'll make it nice and safety. <laughs> okay, here we go. Maybe you can help me with this part. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's really heavy. <laughs> and Andrea, he's really strong. Woo! <laughs> Close the machine and we start. Whoa! <laughs> we started the machine. But, hmm, when will it be done? About to 15 minutes. Okay, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Whoa, we did it. We waited 15 minutes and now it's ready to add the best ingredient. <laughs> but how do we get it out of the machine? Take it out from there. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay, <laughs> here it comes. Whoa, whoa. And at this point, this is really hot. Yeah, you heat it up so that it's safe to eat. So you don't want to get your hands too close to it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. And then we bring that back up here, right? Andrea, what do we do now? Can you help me with the mango? Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. We have mango. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And it's orange. <laughs> okay, time to add this to the mix. Look at it go. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I cannot wait for this to be amazing gelato. It's gonna be so yummy, so fruity. <laughs> okay, and you wanna use the spatula to get all the, the big bits out. There we go. And <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> we want this to be extra mango-y. Okay, <laughs> but hmm, I think it needs to get mixed again. Is that right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> let's mix it again. Woohoo! Look at it! The mix, it's changing colors! What do we do next? We put again in the machine. Okay, whoa, yeah, but a different part of the machine this time because it's gonna get really cold. <laughs> yeah, 
first time, we put it in the top so it could get hot and pasteurized. And now we're putting it in here to get frozen into yummy gelato. <laughs> and then we can eat it. Well, you're really good at this. You don't want to go too fast with pouring it because then it could make a mess. <laughs> what do we do now? Another 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes? Okay, well, we can wait. But this time, I want to do what I love to do while we wait. Time to dance. Oh, and we need Christian for this. Come on. <laughs> time for a gelato dance. <laughs> Whoa, that was yeah. fun dancing. <laughs> Good job. But now it's time to get out the gelato. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. Whoa, it's so fluffy and creamy. <laughs> I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> and look. The mango is orange, but because we put it in the mixture, it looks kind of yellow now. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at it. We did it. We made gelato. <laughs> Do you think I could taste some? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, and is that a spatula you're using? Yes. Whoa, yeah, you don't use an ice cream scoop for gelato. Yeah, you have a gelato spatula. <laughs> For me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. We did it. Oh, hi, Christian. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. We made mango gelato. <laughs> well, I wanted to say thank you so much for teaching me all about gelato. I had so much fun today. <laughs> thank you for coming. No, oh, well, I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. Woohoo. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We made mango gelato. <laughs> and now it's time to taste it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Mm. Oh. It tastes just like a mango. <laughs> it's so creamy and sweet and yummy. <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> yeah, today was so much fun. We learned all about gelato from Christian, got to try so many flavors, and we learned how to make it. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I gotta finish off this gelato. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Aloha, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at today. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow. This place is so cool. And I even have a map, but it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh. Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey, whoa, are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow, oh, and yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area 
and eventually you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these, are big. <laughs> these trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the Ohia Lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. wow, this is really cool. Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool. Let's go. <laughs> wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku lava tube. Lava tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry. There are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Whoa, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. Yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. Well, they're important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> wow, cool, a volcano. That's right. This is a very special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes, and many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure and eventually they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool. So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? 
Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we are looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change in our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera, was more flat. And Hale Maumau Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> wow, this place is awesome. Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all <laughs> of that magma, that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye, Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mount Aloha looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> Yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey!
It's me, Flippy! And look at this giant box! <laughs> yeah, today, Mika and I have some exciting things planned. But it was supposed to meet me here by now. Hmm. Huh. I wonder where Mika went. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear something? It sounded like a doorbell. <laughs> oh, look, there's a doorbell. Hmm, let's try to press it. <laughs> I wonder who's home. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. And this is my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and we have work to do. We do? Uh-huh. Have you told them what we're doing today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly me. I kind of forgot. Yeah, we're using everything in these boxes uh -huh. to build an epic, awesome Ooh, fort. Yes. Woo! Forts are so cool. <laughs> I think a great fort needs three things. <gasps> a cool way to get in, an awesome way to get out. Yeah, and something unique to make it special. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, we have to use our creative thinking. <laughs> How's this floor plan, Blippi? Hmm. You can go through my purple box and get some building ideas. Ooh! Oh, and Mika, you can go through my orange box and get some fun, creative ideas, too. <laughs> Three, two, one! Woo! <laughs> Pool, Pool noodles! noodles. <laughs> 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 Whoa, look! <laughs> a PVC pipe? Oh! Ooh, that'll be a fun plastic pipe where we can maybe da, hang da, da, da. something. <laughs> or use it as a trumpet. And, whoa! We can use a this cape. as oh, a superhero cape! <laughs> yeah, super <laughs> blippy! Maybe just the roof. <laughs> well, I think we better get started building this fort. Let's do it! Woohoo! <laughs> working on the door right here, but there's nothing to attach the door to. Whoa! <laughs> so we can build a very fun door frame by stacking up these blocks. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! One door frame post. <laughs> now we just need the other side. And we have finished the other side. We'll just put it right there. Whoop. <laughs> and attach the door. You see? I put some string and some cardboard here with tape so it can swing open on a hinge. <laughs> Check it out, we did it! Woohoo! Look at the door! The front door to our fort! Hey, Mika, I finished the door. <gasps> hey, Blippi, it looks great. Ha, huh, thanks. Oh, and Mika, did you know that the world's largest doors are at the Kennedy Space Center? Yeah, they're 456 feet tall or 138 meters. <laughs> Whoa, that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I'll see you inside. Okay, I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Mika, a ball pit? Yes, I made a ball pit for us to splash around in in our fort. Whoa, that's 
sounds like fun. I made it out of some plastic pipes. Oh. And I put a sheet over it, just like this. Whoa, it's looking really great, Mimi. You did a good job. Oh, thank you, friend. Whoa. And I have some clips in my jam pack. Clip that together. Clip this over here. <laughs> and then we oh. take some pillows for some nice cushions. Whoa, it's looking really great and nice and soft, so you don't bump your head. <laughs> Would you like to help me with the finishing touches, Blippi? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. OK. Let's put this last bag of balls in there. Whoa, check it out! Ball pit balls! Ball pit okay, balls! Here we go! Zip, zip, zip! Zip! Zip -a -ree. Whoa, whoa! Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Okay, whoa. one last thing to do. Mm, what's that? Jump inside! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whoa! 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 This is fun! Yeah. <laughs> well, we've done a really good job making our fork. <laughs> we did. Oh. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And it has two of the three things great forks have. Mm -hmm. A cool entrance. That's the door. <laughs> yeah. And something unique. The ball pit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we just need a really fun exit. Oh, I have a great idea. Ooh. Wait right here, Blippi. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I wonder what Mika's idea is. Hmm. Whoa. Look, I found this in the backyard. Whoa, a ladder? Yes, some stairs for a slide. Whoa, a slide? That would be such a good idea for an exit. Well, well we have the stairs and, and the slide, mm -hmm. and we have some tools to put it all together. Oh, okay, well, let's put it together maybe over there. Okay. Here we go. Whew. Great idea. Time to build. Here you go, <laughs> hammer for you and a hammer for me. Wow, it's looking really great, Mika. Yep. Now we just need to adjust it so it's the exit. Great. Wow, Whoa. that's awesome. Mm. And I think there's only one last thing to do now. Slide? Slide. You can go first. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Time to slide. <laughs> Yay. Woo. Woo. Great job, friend. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, that was awesome! That was Whoa. so much fun! We did it! We made our fort so, so <laughs> awesome! And we got all the parts finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, the only thing left is to dance now. Okay! Dance party! Woo! Now that we built our fort, what should we do? Oh, I know. Let's play some fort games. Whoa, I love <laughs> playing games. Do you think we should play a fort game together? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so what should we play? Uh, oh, how about we play hot and cold? Oh, I like that game. Is that where <laughs> someone hides a dinosaur uh -huh. <laughs> and the other person tries to find it and they get hints that are either hot or cold uh -huh. if they're close or far away. That's exactly <laughs> it, Blippi. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. Well, who should go first? How about I hide the dinosaur first and you can find him? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go <laughs> out there so you can hide it and then tell me when you're done. Okay, Blippi. <laughs> See you later. Here we go. <laughs> okay, where should we put the dinosaur? Okay, Blippi. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Well, now we have to find the dinosaur. Okay, I'll look, see where it might be. Hmm. You're cold, just like Antarctica. Okay, <laughs> over here. You're still pretty cold. Well, maybe it's over here. Oh, but you're getting warmer. Don't see it over here either. But you're getting kind of hot. Whoa. Hot like a volcano. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Look, I found it! It's our dinosaur! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mika. Well, now how about I hide the dinosaur and you go outside so okay. that I can hide it? Okay, friends! Okay, see I'll see ya. you soon! <laughs> Whoa, I wonder where we should hide this. Mika was really good at hiding you. Hmm. It was just the place.
Okay, Mika, I'm all done. <laughs> well, let's see if Mika can find the dinosaur. Where'd that dinosaur go? <laughs> okay, you're getting cold, like a cold frozen smoothie. Okay. <laughs> yep, you're still cold like Ooh. ice. Still cold. <laughs> you are as cold as an ice cube. Cold. As cold as <gasps> a giant, giant refrigerator freezer. Whoa, you're getting warmer. Okay. You're getting really warm. Hmm, maybe like a warm, toasty panini. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yum. Whoa, you're getting hot like a bowl of soup. Oh. Or hot like, <gasps> like lava. lava. Or hot like <gasps> the sun. Or a star. Is the dinosaur in here? <laughs> You're getting really, really hot, but you gotta keep looking. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I think we did a good job. <laughs> you did a really great okay, job. Okay, cold, warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo, you got Yay! Yay! <laughs> this calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance party! Woo! Woo! We did it! We did Woo! it! We never ever quit it! Whoa! We did it! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, Mika, that was fun. Well, is there another game you think we can play together? Ooh, let's build an obstacle course. Well, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. An obstacle course is where you put up different objects. Obstacles. Yeah, obstacles, <laughs> things you might have to climb over or climb under or roll around. I know, and we can time each other. Maybe, Mika, you can grab some blocks. Here. This is gonna be one fun obstacle course. Okay, whoa! Okay, so here's how it goes. First, you need to walk over the pillow path. Then, roll over this big red tunnel. bumpy block. Yeah, and it's a tunnel, so then go under it, through the couch maze, into the ball pit, uh -huh. and... Down the slide! <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm ready to time you, Mika. Are okay. you ready? Yep. Set. Go! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that was fun! Whoa! Whoa! Pop it! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa, keep going, Mika! You're so close to the finish line! Whoa! Whoa! Mika, you did it! Whoa, you were really fast at that obstacle course. Thanks, man. But I think it's my turn now. Okay. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it was stuck on my hand. <laughs> All right, let me reset the watch. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Okay, here. Over the over pillow the bridge. Over the pillow bridge. Whoa. Whoa. You look like a turtle. <laughs> Woo! I'm a fan, Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! Go, friend, go! Woo. Okay, now down the slide into the exit! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yeah! Oh, well, we did it! Woo! Whoa. That was really, really fun. Really but fun. I think I need a little break from obstacle courses. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we had so much fun and we built this amazing fort. Yes. Mika, you have such creative ideas. Oh, thank you, Flippy. <laughs> so do you. And I loved learning that the biggest doors are at the Kennedy Space what? Center. And they're bigger than the Statue of Liberty. Whoa, that's really big. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I Blippi. Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Can you spell my name with us? Great. M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye me Blippi and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California and this place is such a fun place to learn about science. Do you like science and learning? Yeah! Today is gonna be fun then. Let's go! This is awesome!
from? Oh, and look at this. This is a globe. And actually, it uses infrared technology. Yeah, so then you can have your hands right here and this camera senses what's right on top of this black mat. Whoa! Yeah, this is some cool technology. Technology is when you take something that you learn from science and then you make something with it, like this machine. Whoa, cool. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I make a shape? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this, which stands for Blippi in sign language. All right, ready? Okay, take a picture. All right. Whoa, yeah. See, I just said Blippi in sign language. And why that means blippy is because this looks like my bow tie. Wow, I'm having so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, what a cool machine. Wow. All right, let's see what this does. Whoa. Do you see how that ball is going on the track? Yeah, it started up top and it's going all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, do you know how it does that? Yeah, it does that because of gravity. Cool. <laughs> yeah, gravity is what pulls everything down back to the planet Earth. Whoa, what is this? Make some cool noise but they actually stick together. Look, <gasps> I know what these are. These are magnets. All right, let's see if we can make a rainbow type shape. Yeah, we did it, cool. <laughs> wow, magnets are awesome. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bunch of people jumping in the air. Whoa, I wonder why they're doing that. That's so silly. Jumping is so much fun, yeah. Oh, look right over here. Oh, that's where they were jumping. Oh, and look, measurements. One foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. Oh, and it looks like three feet is about one meter. Oh. Hey, look, there's me. Okay, it says jump now. All right, let's see how high I can jump. <laughs> Whoa, there I go. Whoa, I am concentrating really hard. Whoa, almost four feet. Let's go check it out over here. Oh, there I am. Whoa, we'll get rid of that one. Ooh, check this out. All right. Here we go, Blippi! Yeah, you can push play. There I go, look at my face, I'm going, Whoa. I lifted my legs very high. Ooh, and look at this. Wow, and do you see? This is going really slow. Look, yeah, when I jump, I go faster than this. This is called slow motion. Wow, so cool. <laughs> Ooh, another fun activity. It says start here, exit there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, look, there I am. It's motion capturing me. Ooh, I can move fast. Whoa, and I can move slow. Slow move. Oh, let's check it out on the screen. Whoa, cool. Hey, there I am. Yeah, see my body, my hands, my feet, and my head. All right, we can push play. Oh, there I am. Yeah, I'm dancing. Oh yeah, I moved fast. Yeah. And then I moved slow. Wow, motion capture is so cool. And this is so much fun. Oh, there I went. <laughs> I went bye-bye, bye-bye. Whoa, check it out. This looks like a racetrack, but hmm, I don't see any cars around here or planes to race. 
Huh, but it definitely looks like one because it looks like you start right here, you go down, you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a second loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a third loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you go all the way to the finish line. Okay, let's see. What could we race around here? Oh, there's something. Yeah, a pail. Ooh, and do you see what's in here? <laughs> a ball just dropped out there. All right, let me pick it up. All right, and then we should probably race some of these balls. All right, how about... <laughs> so loud. <laughs> how about these three balls? We have one made out of stone, one made out of wood, and a hollow one made out of plastic. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah! Made it through the whole track. I wonder if this stone one will go. One, two, three, go! Whoa! All right. Now for the last one. One, two, three, go! Yeah! All three made it to the end. And did you see how they all start up top and then they all go down to the bottom? Yeah, because gravity is pulling them down. But then when the loop-de-loops happen, it slows them down because they have to go back up. You know, like walking up a hill, it's pretty hard. But going down a hill, it's way easier. Whoa! Wow! Look at all these cool things! I wonder what this does. Okay. Whoa, it sprays water when I push it through these tubes. Hey, and it spins this thing. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this to spin. Oh, we might need to wait. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, look, it's spinning now. Whoa, it's going so fast. Whoa. Wow, this is so much fun playing in the water. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, kind of looks like a corkscrew. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's actually bringing water all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. Oh, do you see it? It's pouring out the top. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this water. It's like my hands are ducks. Quack, quack, quack. Hanging out in the water and flying in the air. Ha! Ah! <laughs> That's not a duck. A duck goes quack, quack, quack. <laughs> hey, look at this. All this water is stuck because this is in the way and this is in the way. Oh, it's like a dam. You know, like what beavers like to make. Yeah. Whoa. All right, let's see what happens when you open this up. All oh, the water just came out. Check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I'm all wet from the water. Hey, we should probably go dry off. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. <laughs> Here we go, let's dry off. Wow, I sure did have a lot of fun learning with you. Isn't science great? I know! Well, this is the end of this video. What? 
If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Dogwood Canyon Nature Park in Lampy, Missouri. <laughs> and you and I get to go horseback riding. <laughs> yeah! We're gonna get to see some horses and feed them yummy snacks and even go for a ride. Woohoo! This is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Whoa! Check it out! We're here inside the stables, and I can't wait to meet all the cute horses here. <laughs> Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, they make a neighing sound, kind of like this. Hey! <laughs> oh, can you make a neighing sound too? <laughs> yeah, awesome, good job. Hey, I have an idea. Let's act like horses together. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to do some trotting and some galloping. <laughs> Nay! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty silly. <laughs> Ooh, but maybe there's a horse we can go say hello to. Oh, well, look. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. What's your name? My name's Chance. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chance. I'm Blippi. <laughs> and who is this? This is Max. Whoa, hi, Max. Can I give Max a pet? You sure can. I'll even let you give him a treat. Oh, okay. Ooh, hi. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. Just hold your hand out flat. Yeah. What kind of treat is that? That's an alfalfa cube. I'm getting ready to feed him. Would you like to come? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Max is one cute horse, and we definitely want to make sure Max has all the yummy food. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant tractor. <laughs> Whoa. Chance, what's this for? We needed to carry all this hay to feed the horses. Oh, well, yeah. There's a lot of hay over here. Horses love to eat it up. <laughs> well, do you think I could drive the tractor? You sure can. You want to jump out there and follow me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I've driven a lot of tractors before. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Here we go. another horse. Ah, oh, you are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, and what what's this horse's name? This is Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. <laughs> can I give Charlie a pet? You can. You <laughs> sure can. Okay. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Aw, you are so sweet. <laughs> oh, and what kind of horse is Charlie? Charlie is a paint horse. Oh, a paint horse. Whoa. <laughs> you see, Charlie is the color white and the color brown. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. A paint horse that's two different colors. Like someone painted Charlie. Aw, <laughs> uh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Aw, uh, and Charlie is so soft too. Whoa. <laughs> well, look, Charlie has some hair. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, that's the horse's mane, right? Yes, it is. Whoa, whoa, Charlie, you have a beautiful mane. <laughs> oh, well, Chance, do you think I could go on a ride? Yeah, if you'll let me. I think he's about done with his breakfast here and we'll <laughs> take oh, him yeah. out and <laughs> saddle him up. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Are you all done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I think it's time to ride. So first things first, we just need to take Charlie out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> here, I can take this. You want to take that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'll grab him. Ooh. Step back a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> here comes Charlie. <laughs> Whoa. Can you do me a favor? Sure. And go get that other cross tie over there? Okay. <laughs> oh, here you go. Thank you. Walk way around him. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get too close. <laughs> Ooh, and here you go. <laughs> oh. Charlie is so beautiful. Well, before we ride, what do we need to do first? Well, we gotta brush him. Mm, yeah, we wanna make sure Charlie is nice and clean. 
<laughs> yeah, and it's also important to check the hooves. Yeah, where the horseshoes are <laughs> in case a rock or some dirt got there. Oh, Ooh. And are these what the things we're gonna use? Yeah, we've. Whoa, we have a brush, right? <laughs> That's a brush, and then the other's a curry comb. Whoa, a curry comb? Mm-hmm. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, yeah, it has all kinds of little edges, zigzags on it. Hmm. And what is this used for? That's to knock the dirt and the mud off. Whoa, yeah, off the bottom of the hooves. <laughs> okay, well, what should we do first? Well, let's first let's groom them where the saddle's gonna go. Everywhere where we put the saddle. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> go like that. Ah, <laughs> it's so fun to brush, Charlie. Ah, yeah, and we wanna clean off this area because the saddle is gonna go on top and we don't want it to be uncomfortable for Charlie. <laughs> ah, okay, well, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Next, we need to check his feet for dirt and debris. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see if he'll pick his foot up here for me. Whoa, Whoa that's pretty dirty. <laughs> Whoa, we definitely wanna get some of that off. Well, look, and you see on the bottom of the hoof, there's a horseshoe. Well, why do horses need horseshoes? Because it keeps the rocks from hurting their feet. Oh yeah, <laughs> so it's nice and comfy walking around. <laughs> Whoa, we brushed Charlie and we cleaned off the hooves, so what do we need to do next? Next, we need to saddle him up. Okay, well, let's go get a saddle. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! We're here in the saddle room. <laughs> oh, and Chance, why do we need a saddle? And because it helps you balance and then it helps keep your horse comfortable. Oh yeah, you definitely want to make sure the horse is nice and comfy. And it's nice if you're comfy too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like there are a lot of saddles here. Looks like there's probably a lot of horses, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I think we've got 45 here. 45 horses? Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> but we just need to find one saddle for Charlie, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, well, let's see which one's Charlie's. Hmm. Looks like, looks like there are names. See, Smoke and Corriente and Alex. <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. Blue, <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> and do you see it? Charlie, <laughs> yeah, we found Charlie's name. Oh, well, Chance, does that mean that this is Charlie's saddle? That is his tack. Whoa, yeah. Well, is it okay if I take it down? Yeah, go ahead. Be oh. careful though, it's heavy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This is really, really heavy. <laughs> yeah, look, really heavy and it has a seat. Hmm. And what's this here? That's a saddle horn. That's what you can hold on to if you need to. Well, yeah, definitely helps to keep your balance. <laughs> whoa, and what are these here? That'll be what you put your feet in. Those are called your stirrups. Whoa, look, stirrups. Whoa, yeah, you can just slide your shoe in right there. So you're nice and balanced and your feet aren't going all over the place. <laughs> oh, and what's this here? That's a saddle pad. That helps cushion the horse's back from the saddle. Whoa, yeah, it's nice and squishy, <laughs> really soft. So when you put on a heavy saddle, it's nice and comfy. Well, I think we should probably take these over to Charlie. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, <laughs> hi, Charlie. <laughs> Whoa. So first we want to put on the saddle pad, and then, ooh, maybe can you can take help that me? from you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and then we put on the saddle. Whoa. Let's see. Here we go. Whoa. Ah, Charlie, that's a nice looking saddle you have over there. <laughs> so it looks like we need to put the saddle on the saddle pad, and then. Drop it in. <laughs> see. Whoa. So we put some straps under Charlie's belly, but what's this right here? This is a breast collar. Whoa, and what is that supposed to do? Keeps it from sliding too far side to side. Mm-hmm, yeah. If you're on a saddle on a horse, you want to be nice and safe. You don't want to be too wobbly, because that could be uncomfortable for the horse, and it might be uncomfortable for you, too. <laughs> Aw, Charlie, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thanks for letting us go on a ride with you. Oh, so there are one, two straps we wanna do? Three straps. Oh yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna forget the front. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what 
Well, it looks like we've finished saddling Charlie. <laughs> and now what do we want to do next? You want to go ride? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go take Charlie out and go for a ride. <laughs> Whoa, I can't wait to ride Charlie. <laughs> oh, good thing I have on my helmet. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we're out here in the arena <laughs> and think we're just about ready to start riding. So, what's the first thing I need to do? Okay, first thing, let him know that you're coming up here. Okay. <laughs> Give him a nice pat on the neck. Aw, Charlie, I'm gonna get up in the saddle. <laughs> okay. Now let's put that foot okay. all the way up here. Grab your saddle horn. Okay. And then big quick up and over. Whoa, thanks, Charlie. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, this okay. is so fun. Now sit nice <laughs> and even up there. Whoa, and then I hold the reins like this, right? Yep. Okay. And if I want to go forward, what do I say first? You're going to say walk up and give him a squeeze and then a kick with your legs if you need to. Okay, walk up. <laughs> Whoa, good, Charlie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> And if I want to stop, what do I say then? You're going to say, whoa, and pull back on the rein. Whoa. Aw, <laughs> Charlie, you are such a good horsey. <laughs> well, this is so fun. Now, I think it's time to go for a ride. You ready to go <laughs> out on the trail? Let's do it. OK, time to go to the trail. Here we go. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> whoa, check it out. We're here on the trail. <laughs> Whoa, Charlie, you're such a good horse. Oh, and Chance, thanks for riding with us. You're welcome, glad to have you out. <laughs> yeah, oh, and what's your horse's name? This is Smoke. Oh, hello, Smoke. <laughs> oh, Smoke looks like a good horsey, too. <laughs> Whoa, so nice to be out here on the trail. And it's getting a little bit warmer, too. If you notice, the green leaves are starting to change colors. Yeah. Some of the green leaves are turning yellow, or orange, or red. <laughs> oh, Chance, can you ride on the trail in all kinds of weather, like snow? Yeah, you just gotta watch for it being too slick. As long as the, the ground's firm, then you can ride. Oh, that definitely sounds fun, riding in the snow. But <laughs> I like this weather better. <laughs> it's not too cold. <laughs> Today was awesome, yeah. We learned how to groom and saddle a horse. <laughs> and we met Charlie, we even got to go for a ride. Oh, and Chance, thank you so much for teaching us all about horses today. <laughs> Thanks for riding with me, come back and see us. <laughs> oh, I certainly would love to. <laughs> oh, and I'll see you too, Charlie. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? B L I P P I. Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. <laughs>
my side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. <laughs> Whoa, this side is high and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second, since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah, good job, Mika. Uh -huh. You're a great singer. Thanks. Let's check your pitch. Okay. I'm still up here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait, that side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. Okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, great job, Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we keep playing? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> You want to go higher? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> I'm going so high! Yeah! Do you want to turn? Yeah! All right, here I go! Whoa! Nice. Yeah, that was awesome! That was so cool! Thanks, Mika! Whoa! All right. All right. How high do you want to go? Whoa, maybe not as high as you. I might fly right over. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Here we go! The swing is making sounds like a bell. Oh yeah, it is. Wow, it's so peaceful. Yeah. A little higher? <laughs> sure. All right. Whoa, look how high I am. Yeah, <laughs> you are going so high. Whoa. Whoa. Are you having fun? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! We make some great music <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah, this place is cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, check this out. What is this? Wow. Whoa, a really big rock. Whoa, and really small rocks. Whoa. Whoa. What are these? Maybe you just play with rocks. But there's things dangling inside. Oh, you're right. Wait, huh. what if we drop rocks on them? Try it. Oh, what a fun way to make music. Oh, yeah, and there's some over here. Oh, let's try it out. Whoa, this one only has two, a big one and a small one. Yeah, I wonder if one will be high and one will be low. All right, let's try it out. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh. So the small one made a high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. Oh, hey, I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items. Uh -huh. And then if it's the high pitch, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low pitch, you squat down real <gasps> low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm hmm Every single one right. Nice. You did a good job, too. Good job. <laughs> well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, Mika, check it oh, out. Oh, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> wow. This is a jungle gym, and it looks like it's made out of rope. Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high. That sounds like fun. Let's, let's go. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we could climb really high. Oh, you're doing a great job. You too, Bliffy. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh, 
yeah, there's the swings. Woo! And Ooh. where we made some music? Yeah! Oh. Hey, guess what I have? What? I brought my telescope! Whoa! Cool! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> you scared gotcha. me! Gotcha! <laughs> and check it out! The Space Needle! Whoa! It's so high up! Yeah! Hey! What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the Space Needle! Oh yeah! If we go to the top of the Space Needle, I bet we're gonna see things differently from yeah. way up high! And probably see even more! Cool! Let's go! Okay! Whoa! Blippi, check it out! The elevator that will take you up 52 floors! Whoa! That's really high! I'm excited! I know! Me too! <laughs> Wait a second! I have an idea! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah! A, a race! race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right, and we'll see who wins. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, go! I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to be Blippi. This elevator's really fast. Did you know? That the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters! Very, very tall. Whoa! We're so high up now! Oh, I think we're almost to the top! 830, 831, 832! Yeah! I made it to the top of the Space Needle! Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Oh, wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Blippi! Oh, hey, Mika! You made it to the top of the Space Needle! Yeah, I can't believe you got here first! Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> what a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck! You are so smart, Mika! <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it! Whoa, this place is awesome! Yeah, check out this incredible view! Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay! Oh, it is? Yep! Wow, <laughs> I bet there's a lot of fish in there! Oh, I bet you're right! Oh, I see a lot of boats! Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees! Oh, yeah, so pretty! Yeah! Did you know these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year-round! So cool! <laughs> yeah! Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because emerald is green. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika, why is this place called the Space Needle? Mm. It's not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Oh, oh. Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you Blippi. almost fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor! <laughs> Whoa! Are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa! Be careful! <laughs> totally Do you think safe. it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. All, right. Whoa! All right. There you go. All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is safe. Whoa, <laughs> this is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh-huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yeah, it's so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know. It's really fun. Whoa. Uh, yeah. And if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Speaking oh. of cool, look at the view. Yeah. 
Look at all of those houses. Wow, that building is so big. Whoa, really big, <laughs> but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. Whoa. Oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool. That looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. Yeah. Oh, I love rainbows. <laughs> yeah, do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. Wow, this has been so much fun up here. Oh, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? Rainbow day. It's rainbow day, yeah. Flippy, how you doing? Red and orange. Day. It's so colorful. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, I had a great day learning and playing with you, Blippi. Oh, me too, Mika. Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the Artists of Play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. Oh, <laughs> and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Blippi, you were really fast. Well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed. Yeah, speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. Yeah, and this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey friends! Want to help me move some dirt? <laughs> well, this is a job for... My excavator! Come on! I'm an excavator Big old 
I'm an excavator. Got a place where workers sit, it's called the cab Where they control the bucket to scoop and grab I'm a whole regulator, I'm an excavator Oh, can't you see that I work all day? Do you ever sleep? No time for sleep, no time for play I'm an excavator Reporting live from Hawaii Children's Discovery Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful day. Aloha, it's me, Blippi, and today we have a special report. Yeah, on jobs and professions. Are you excited to learn about jobs and professions? Me too, let's go. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, that's a siren. There must be a fire around here, come on. Whoa! Yeah, we need to act like a firefighter so then we can put out the fire. Okay. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, my firefighting hat. Whoa! And then you would wear these clothes to help protect you. Oh, and look at the fire truck. Wow, do you see this ladder? Yeah, that's how firefighters climb really high. Yeah, they use ladders. Wow, I love fire trucks. Oh, and look down here. This is where you connect the water to the fire truck. You know where you connect it from? Yeah, a fire hydrant. Whoa, cool. But this fire hydrant actually has a hose connected to it. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I'm spraying so much water. Wow, firefighters love to spray water. Yeah, because then it puts out the fire, yeah. That's on the building. All right, let's put this back. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to drive the fire truck. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, yeah, whoa. I love driving fire trucks. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, and the sirens. Yeah, and the lights. Wow, being a firefighter would be so cool because you know you get to help so many people. Wow, all right. <laughs> oh, check this out over here. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now that the lug nuts are off, we can remove the wheel and tire. You know what shape this is? Yeah, a circle. All right, let's go replace it with this brand new one over here. All right, wow, a nice brand new one. And then we need three lug nuts. One, two, three. Wow, that last tire was flat, but this one is nice and pumped up. All right, let's put it right here. Ooh, being a mechanic is hard work. <laughs> All right, let's start the lug nuts just like this. All right, there's one. Here's two, and then the last one. So what you do is you barely put it on, just with your hands like that. And then you take this, and this tightens them up. Wow, that was so much fun acting like a car mechanic. 
Wow! Shall we keep exploring? Let's go! Whoa! Your town bank! Yeah, many towns have banks! Let's go act like we're a bank teller. <laughs> bank tellers sit down right here and then wait for people to deposit or to take out money. You can act like one of those people. Oh, hello. How can I help you? Oh, you would like some money? All right, hold on. Let me access your account. Here you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow, I love acting like a bank teller. All right, I'll be right over. Whoa, hey, now I can act like I'm a worker. Yeah, at just a store. Yeah, and I just went to the bank. Now I gotta go to my job. All right, yeah, I'm a grocery worker. Whoa, yeah, also known as a grocer. <laughs> All right, I'm at work now. <laughs> oh, come into the grocery store. Whoa! Shall we get some groceries? Oh, yeah! How about some peaches? What a yummy fruit. <laughs> Ooh! And pineapple! Wow, I love pineapple. It is so sweet. Such a yummy fruit. Yeah, and they grow a lot on Hawaii, which is one of our states in America. Okay, I think this is enough. Wait, maybe we should get a vegetable. Oh, yeah, like a head of lettuce? Okay, ooh, and some pears, yum! Maybe we should go check out. Yeah, so then I can act like a cashier at a grocery store. All right, we have some peaches. We have green beans. Ooh, the pineapple. Okay, a couple more. Ooh, and we have the pears. <laughs> yeah, very healthy. And we also grabbed the lettuce. <laughs> also very healthy. All right, and your total. Whoa, that's a big number. <laughs> cool. And the person that bags all these up is the courtesy clerk. So then they can give you the groceries that you got and then you can go home. Well, it's the end of my shift. So maybe I'll go explore and see what other professions and jobs we can find. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! I need to mail off this letter. All right, see you later. <laughs> Have a fun journey. <laughs> Wait a second. Post office workers are very important. They make sure mail and packages go from one location to the next. What a challenging job that is. But hey, why don't you and I act like a post office worker? <laughs> All right, first things first, we have to dress like one. Check out my hat, yeah! Keeps the sun out from my face while walking around town picking up the mail. Oh, <laughs> and then I'll wear this shirt. Yeah! Now I'm looking like a post office worker, right? Yeah! The best post office in the world is me! And my name's Sean. <laughs> All right, and look at this! This is what I collect my mail in. All right, let's walk over here and let's open this up. Whoa, look at all those letters. All right, let me collect them. All right, and as the post office worker, now we need to take them inside and put them in the bag. All right, here we go. Whoa, now I look official, right? All right, so let's put them in the bag and then we can deliver them around town, across the country or the world. Wow, what an important job that is, right? I know, anything physical that goes from point A to point B, yeah, is gonna be delivered as a post office worker if you send it in the mail. Wow, hey, and here it is. Yeah, the veterinarian's office needs their mail. Here it is. <laughs> All right, you folks enjoy. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a post office worker. And speaking of fun jobs, why don't you and I act like a veterinarian? Wow, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, check it out. Now we're in the vet's office. Yeah, vet is short for veterinarian. Oh, and check it out. This is what they wear. Yeah, doesn't it look like a nurse? or a doctor's outfit? Yeah, because that's what they do, but they do that for animals. Wow, what an important and fun job. Oh, speaking of fun, oh, 
hey kitty, hey kitty, meow, meow, meow. Oh, so cute. Why are you here? Oh, you're here because you have an upset stomach? Oh, well, I'll help you out. Oh, and do you have a dog friend? Oh, look at the dog friend. Oh, they love playing with each other. Oh, all right, let's help the kitty out. All right, let's put the kitty right here. Oh, and then it looks like we have, wow, look at this, and look at this, and look at this. A lot of tools that veterinarians use. Okay, there we go. Looking inside the ears, the eyes, the nose. What else do we have here? Whoa, these don't look like they're for kitties. <laughs> well, we won't use those. I definitely will use this though. Let's see here. Okay, here you go, kitty. Oh, how does that feel? Oh, we helped the kitty. Now its tummy feels a lot better. Okay, we'll put the kitty right over here. Oh, and check out these. Yeah, do you know what these are? Yeah, dog bones. Dogs love these. Remember our friend from earlier? <laughs> Let's see if he wants one. Hey, doggy, here you go. Oh, wow, that was so much fun acting like a veterinarian. Wow, I sure do love different types of jobs. They're so fun. Whoa, wasn't that so much fun? I know, I had a great time. And hey, did you know a TV reporter is another job and profession? Yeah, they talk about the weather, they talk about the news. Hey, yeah, the news today is we had so much fun. <laughs> wow, isn't it cool how different jobs do different things in town to make things run? And every job is very important. Great, I wonder what you're gonna be when you grow up. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job, all right. See you again, aloha! <laughs>
The day's pretty silly. <laughs> Here you are, peaches, free of charge. Aw, free peaches, yum. <laughs> but we also want to put some vegetables in our dinner too. Right. So we have <laughs> vegetables, yum, and <gasps> some corn. Ooh. Oh, and mm, some other stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Thanks, Mika. <laughs> Here they come. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, Mika, we have a lot of food here, but we need it cook it now. Oh, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <Ooh. laughs> let's put your apron on. Oh, yeah, Chef Blippi needs an apron. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my apron, Mika? It's opposite day, so it's on your back. Oh, <laughs> that's so silly. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Well, we want to see if there's any other fruits and vegetables maybe in the kitchen we can use. Ooh, yeah. let's check it out in here. Ooh. <gasps> oh, check it out. Ooh. Fruit and vegetables. Whoa, and look at these. <laughs> Mika, they're your two favorite colors. Well, they're your two favorite colors today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> today, my two favorite colors are yellow, whoops, <laughs> and purple. <Ooh. laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> we'll put those into our dinner. And look, there are other fruits and vegetables that are different colors, oh. like red, green, <laughs> definitely want some of those, <laughs> and Orange! Oh, one of my favorite colors. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Orange and blue are your two favorite <laughs> colors today, Mika. <laughs> okay, well, now we just need to put some on some plates mm -hmm. and we need to put some in the oven. <laughs> Here we go. May I have some pepper, please? Oh, yes, you may. There you go. <laughs> Tasty! Whoa, so yummy! <laughs> Whoa, dinner's looking like it's almost done. Flippy, I have a great idea. Oh, what's that? What do you usually eat after dinner? Hmm, do you know what you usually eat after you eat dinner? <laughs> yeah, that's right, dessert. <laughs> I love dessert. <laughs> well, since it's opposite day, let's have dessert before our dinner. Whoa, that's a great idea. <laughs> well, but we should probably also bring our food so we can still eat dinner. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> let's go. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> well, Mika, we made it. Yay. <laughs> and before we eat dessert, before dinner, because it's opposite day, mm -hmm. we should probably pick out what we want to eat for dinner. Yeah. Hmm, Mika, what are you gonna have? Uh, I would like some mushrooms, please. Ooh, there are some mushrooms. And a carrot as well. Ooh, and a carrot for you. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have some tuna fish <laughs> with a lemon. Ooh. <laughs> well, we'll set this here for later, because remember, it's opposite day, we're having dinner for breakfast, but... We'll have ice cream first! <laughs> okay, now let's make some ice cream. <laughs> Whoa, check out all these flavors! Oh, there's so many! <laughs> oh, they're so colorful, too! Ooh, what flavor do you think this is? Hmm, it's brown, so it's probably <gasps> chocolate! <laughs> Tasty! Yum! And look, this color is the color pink. Mm -hmm. What flavor do you think this ice cream is? Hmm, how about strawberry? <laughs> I love strawberry. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, green ice cream. Whoa, Mika, is that broccoli flavored? Yeah, <laughs> extra nutritious. <laughs> yeah, well, it may be probably kind of sort of might be mint chocolate chip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mika, can I make you an ice cream cone? Yes, please. How many scoops would you like? Four. Four scoops of ice cream? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. One. Two. Three. And four Whoa. scoops. <laughs> And I'll give you a little bit of caramel on top. Ooh, tasty. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Mm, and Mika, could you help me make an ice cream cone? Of course. Mm. How many scoops? I think I'll just have one scoop of ice cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have room for dinner Whoa. later. <laughs> Whoa. One scoop. And how about some sprinkles? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Do you hear that? Yeah. 
kind of sounds like shakers. Oh, and I love music. <laughs> I love ice cream. I love ice cream too. It's I so tasty. tasty. <laughs> Whoa, that's a good ice cream song. <laughs> well, ice cream songs are so fun to sing before you have some ice cream. Oh, so Mika, here you go, but be careful. Remember, it's opposite day, so cold ice cream on opposite day is actually lava hot. Whoa! Oh, it's really hot in here. Ready? Here we go. Cheers, cheers. Hurry before it melts. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was silly. Yes. <laughs> and now that we had our dessert before dinner, <laughs> time to eat dinner. Yeah. Oh, here's your dinner. Thank you. Oh, yummy, yummy dinner. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was pretty fun eating Are dinner. Are you ready to play? Yeah, me Ooh. too. Hmm. I wonder what we'll do today. <gasps> Let's go explore. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this fire station is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check out this truck. Whoa, this fire truck looks so fast and loud. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Ooh, safety gear. Whoa, yeah, after a fire, we probably need to repair some of the homes or buildings that caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Mika, is that a megaphone? Yes, it is. Mika, firefighter Mika, it's time to save the day. Coming, <laughs> coming to save the day. <laughs> okay, firefighter Blippi, we'll help you out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, but wait a second, Mika. It's office day, remember? Yes. Maybe instead of being really loud, we need to be really quiet. Oh, yeah. Firefighter Mika. Oh, yeah. We need to go save everyone from the fire. Rear, rear, rear. Here rear, 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 rear. <laughs> <laughs> On opposite day, sirens that are normally very loud are actually very quiet. Rear, 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 rear. That's silly. <laughs> Whoa. And look at that. An actual firefighter helmet. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Good thinking, Mika. <laughs> Backwards. Since it's opposite day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and since we're in the fire station, I don't need to have an apron anymore. <laughs> Put this over here. <gasps> Check it out. Whoa, what's that? It is a vest. Whoa, a fire vest. <laughs> oh, but there's only one. Hmm. You can have it. Aw, that's nice, but then you won't have one. Hmm, I'll let you have it. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I have one in my jam pack for you. <laughs> Whoa. That was really thoughtful. And good planning, Mika. <laughs> yes, I love to plan. <laughs> okay. Firefighter helmet on. Mm -hmm. And my fire jacket mm -hmm. on too. <laughs> and now we just need to go find a fire. Okay, let me grab my extinguisher. Okay, and I'll grab the megaphone so I can be really quiet. <laughs> Here we go. Here we come Woo! to save the day. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Hurry! But firefighter Mika, uh -huh. wait a minute. It's opposite day. Instead of going forward, uh -huh. I think we need to drive backwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! Mirror. Look at this ball pit. Woo, so colorful. Oh, yeah. It's all different colors mm -hmm. like green and pink, and blue and green. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and look, purple and yellow. Hey, <laughs> just like those slides. Oh, yeah. Those slides are also purple and yellow, mm -hmm. my two favorite colors. <laughs> Today, at least. <laughs> Since it's opposite day, let's go up the slides. Okay, you normally would go down, but it's opposite day. Let's do it! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, okay. Wait, let's check to see if anyone's coming down. Mm-hmm. Hmm, no one's coming down. And remember, always go down a slide. We have special permission from grown-ups to go up the slide today. Yeah! <laughs> okay, we'll see you at the top. <laughs> This is pretty slippery. <laughs> I made it! Whoa! And I... Come on, 
Wait, we're so two. close. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I made it too. Hey, this calls for a 10 second dance break. Yeah. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did, we did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> that was really fun. Mm, but I think I know just what to do next. What? Well, we went up the slides. Let's go down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you at the bottom. Woohoo! Ready, friend? Ready. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it sure is fun playing on opposite day. Yeah, and since it's opposite day, let's jump out of the ball pit instead of into the ball pit. <laughs> okay, but who should go first? Me. Okay. <laughs> okay, first, you wanna get covered with all the ball pit balls. Yes, please. Cover me up. Okay, there we go. Ready, and set, land! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, you're next. Now it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to get totally covered with ball pit balls. Here we go. See you soon. Woo. All right, all set. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa. 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 That was so much fun. Yeah. And I had a really great time celebrating opposite day with you. Aww. You came up with some great opposites. Mm, you did too. <laughs> oh, thanks, friend. Yeah, well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. Hey, <laughs> since it's opposite day, can I spell your name and you can spell mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. B-L-I-P-V-I. Blippi. <laughs> and can you spell my name with me? Oh, Mika's name? <laughs> M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. Mika. Good job. Well, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye. Oh. Hello. <laughs> there once was a farmer who had a dog. Do you know his name? Once a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name O. Thanks for spelling Bingo with me. But how do you spell it without a B? Once a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O. I N G O. I N G O. I N G O and Bingo was his name O. <laughs> that was tricky. Hey, it looks like we're losing more letters. Once a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O. N G O. N G O. N G O and Bingo was his name O. Let's spell it again, but lose another letter. <laughs> Once a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O. G O. Geo and Bingo was his name O. Whoa! Do you think we can spell Bingo with only one letter? Once a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O. Once a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh, and Bingo was his name Oh, <laughs> Great job singing with me! <sighs> oh, Mika! Would you like to play a game? Sure, Blippi! <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's play a game of I Spy! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, okay, I'll go first. I spy with my blippy eye something brown and barky. Ooh. Hey, is it the tree trunk? 
<laughs> yeah, it's the bark <laughs> on the tree trunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And me, Eureka. And today, we're here at Tree People in the Santa Monica Mountains. <laughs> Ooh, we're going on a nature hike. Yeah, <laughs> and we're having so much fun, enjoying the sunshine, oh, <laughs> and the fresh air, <sighs> and the really tall green trees. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Okay. I spy with my Mika eye something big and blue. Oh, something that's big and blue. <laughs> hmm. Do you see something big and blue? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's the sky. That's right. Oh, hello sky. <laughs> okay, my turn. Go. I spy with my blippy eye something red. Hmm, something red. <gasps> hey, is it this flower? <laughs> yeah, look, it's a red flower <laughs> bud. Aw, yeah. Oh, so pretty. Hasn't bloomed yet. No, not till the spring. <laughs> then it will be a beautiful red flower. What a beautiful day! Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't! Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out! Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great! We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. We must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, Give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do. And it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. <laughs> so, Blippi, what other things can we do to protect the Earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw, throw them in. in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to Party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth Party. But it's not just our home, is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy, so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savanna, to the polar bears at the North Pole, the monkeys in the jungle, yeah, we all call the Earth our home. When it's the home for you and me, that we call home. <laughs> well, that was so much fun singing. Thanks yeah. for dancing along with oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but after all that singing and dancing, I'm definitely in need of a snack. Oh, look, there's a picnic table over there. Whoa, let's go eat a snack there. Okay. Ah. <sighs> 
this is so nice. <laughs> well, what snack should we eat, Mika? I have some fruit in my jam pack. Well, I love eating fruit. Yeah, I especially love fruit because it's an always food. Yeah, you can always have a healthy snack by eating some fruit. Mm-hmm. Look at this bright red apple. Oh, and I have a bright orange banana. Wait a minute. Orange? <laughs> it's a yellow banana. Yeah, <laughs> That's one silly. of my favorite colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this definitely is gonna be a tasty snack for me. <laughs> yeah, oh, gotta just peel it, mm -hmm. and then take a bite. Oh, how's your apple? Delicious. <laughs> how's your nana? <laughs> yeah. That is so yummy and sweet. <laughs> I certainly love eating yummy fruits and vegetables. Me too, especially with my best friend. Do you like to eat fruits and vegetables too? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, Mika, mm -hmm. when we're done eating, we're gonna have some leftover food scraps. We should mm -hmm. probably find a place to put them. I don't see any place nearby. Yeah, we don't want to litter and just throw them out in nature. Mm -hmm. We need to find a place to put our banana peel mm -hmm. and our apple core. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can keep going down the trail and we'll find somewhere. Okay. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. 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 Okay, keep going down the trail, <laughs> eating our yummy snacks, and keep on the lookout for a place to put our scraps. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Look at this! Whoa! I wonder what it is. A trash can? Mm, maybe, but it doesn't quite look like one. <gasps> hey! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a triangle! It's two triangles. Oh yeah, it is. One, two! Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Hillary. I'm an eco-educator here at Tree People. Ooh, oh, Hillary. Nice Hillary. What is this triangular thing? Yeah. That's a great question. This is actually two different types of soil. Whoa, yeah, check it out. Look, looks like there's some sandy soil in this one mm -hmm. and some mushy green brown looking soil in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these sides is actually sick soil. Can you guess which side is our sick soil? Uh, mm. this side? Um, you're close. It's actually this side. Oh, oh yeah. Well, do you think we need to take that dirt to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this side is our sick city soil because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. Oh, oh. yeah. Look, there are some concrete blocks on the top. That probably is not too good for the soil. No, that actually represents our sidewalks in the city. Oh, and what about this one over here? So this is our healthy soil. That's the type of soil you're gonna see out here at tree people or around on hikes. Yeah, Ooh. look, there's some leaves, mm -hmm. <laughs> hang on some bark, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's definitely green looking. Yeah, oh. looks nice and healthy. <laughs> well, Hillary, we also have some food scraps from our snack and we were wondering what we should do with them or where we could put them. That's a great question. You can actually put that in something called a compost oh. bin. What's a compost bin? That's a great question. When you add your fruit and veggie scraps to a compost bin, it breaks down and it adds nutrients to the soil. Ooh. Wait, so putting our banana peels and apple cores in a compost bin, it would make the soil really healthy like that. Yes, exactly. Whoa. We eat it and get healthy, and then we make the soil healthy. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Actually, you guys should follow yeah? me up the hill. I know somebody special who can help you compost your food scraps. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds so fun. Okay, we'll follow you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna go check and see if the dirt doctor is in. Okay, okay. see you soon, Hillary. <laughs> Whoa, hi, Dirt Doctor. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. You look awfully familiar. Well, anywho, it's nice to meet you. Well, why don't you guys follow me? Okay. Whoa. What's all this? These are all the ingredients that we need to make our compost. Oh, whoa, yeah, it looks like you have an awful lot of cool things here. Oh, and can we add our food scraps to the compost? Yes, you absolutely can. We need half parts greens and half parts brown. Do we have enough? You know, I think we actually need a little bit more of both. Okay. Mm, well, I think we can go find some. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> okay, we'll put our food scraps here and be right back. <laughs> See you soon. 
Hmm, well, Mika, what do you want to try to find? Some twigs. Ooh, and maybe I'll find some green leaves. Ooh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, and look, there's some green leaves here. Oh, but we should pick from the ground. Yeah, we don't want to hurt any of the trees or plants nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this. <laughs> yeah, all these green and brown things would be great to add for the compost. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it looks like we got a lot of leaves and twigs and organic things. Ooh, <laughs> some, some berries too. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take this back to the dirt doctor. Ooh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we brought it back, dirt doctor. Okay, sounds great. Why don't we start off with our greens? Okay. All right, well, how about on the count of three, we do our food scraps and our green leaves, and uh, let's do a rainbow toss into the bucket. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Rainbow! <laughs> Well, what do we do after we add all the green things? To the now compost? we gotta add our browns. So oh. why don't we do a little bit of all of the browns that we have? Okay, well we have an awful lot of leaves. Yeah, can Here you, you pass me some? Yeah, there Thank you go. Thank you. And I'll grab <laughs> some bark and some twigs. <laughs> all right, great. Now on the count of three, I want you guys to do a slam dunk into Ooh. our bucket. Compost basketball. Let's all right, do it. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did it! Well, what do we add now? Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that we can have some moisture in our compost bin. And why don't we mix this up? Can I stir? Of course! <laughs> yeah! Stir, stir, stir! Well, that's stir a good mixer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! And it looks like that water is helping to break it down, right? Exactly. And in two to three months, this is gonna break down into a soil that's our compost. Whoa. <gasps> and then what do we do? use the soil for? That's a great question. You can put it in your gardens and you can give it to your trees and your plants. Yeah, oh. so they can grow big and strong. <laughs> Speaking of plants, maybe we could uh, plant something? Yeah, well, I'd love to plant something. Actually, I have something for both of you. Oh. I have white sage, which is a native plant. <gasps> oh, check it out. This white sage is so beautiful and the leaves are kind of fuzzy. <laughs> well, I would certainly love to plant these white sage with my best friend, Mika. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dirt Doctor. It was really nice learning about so many things from you. <laughs> oh, and we'll see you soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Bye, Sal. I mean, dirt doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to plant our plants. There you go, oh, Mika. I have an idea. Oh, let's name our plants. Whoa, that's a great idea. Well, Mika, what are you going to name your white sage? Mmm, Buttercup. Buttercup. <laughs> oh, I like that name. Thanks. I'm gonna name mine. Charlie! Oh, Charlie and Buttercup. Aww. I hope they're very happy here. Yeah. Well, Mika, these are actually native to California, oh. which means they're from California. <laughs> uh-huh. That means they can grow in California even if it's dry and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to grow nice and big and strong. <laughs> Aw, this is so great. Well, I think oh. mine's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yours looks good, too. Let's put this flag here so we know that Buttercup and Charlie Live here. Yeah, we don't want anyone to step on them, and we want to remember where we put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was so much fun celebrating yes. Earth Day. That was <laughs> awesome meeting the dirt doctor who taught us all about composting. Yeah, and what healthy and not so healthy soil looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> hey, can you spell our names with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> B L I P P I Flippy. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> M E E K A H. -A -H. Mika. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we'll see you soon. <gasps> Happy Earth Day! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. <laughs> Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They like to waddle, and they live in the snow. 
<laughs> Good job! A penguin? <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be at the zoo because today we get to see all kinds of animals. Let's go! Whoa! I am so excited because we're going up in the sky on the Sky Fari. Whoa! Hello down there! <laughs> We're so high up in the air! Whoa! Do you have a favorite animal? <laughs> I like that animal too. Animals are amazing. They're so smart <laughs> and so cool to watch. I love learning about them, especially learning about conservation. <laughs> yeah, conservation is really important so we can take care of the animals. And that way, they can be around for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa! Speaking of animals, I see some right down here. It is so fun being up in the sky. You can see so many animals from up here. Hmm. And a lot of different plants. <laughs> yeah, it's really important for animals to have all types of plants. Yeah, where an animal lives, that's called its habitat. <laughs> And if you take really good care of an animal's habitat, then the animal will stay nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I want you to meet one of my good friends. Her name is Lisa, and she's a wildlife care specialist. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi, welcome. <laughs> I am so excited to see some amazing animals. But I had a question. What is that? What is conservation? Oh my, conservation is so important. It's how we save the animals that live on our planet, the places they live, and we can help them right here from our own homes. Whoa, it sounds like conservation is really important. <laughs> well, I had another question. Lisa, what's your favorite part about being a wildlife care specialist? <laughs> well, you can guess it's the animals. I love working with the animals. There are so many different kinds I didn't even know. <laughs> and they're very special, each and every one. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds so amazing. Hey, can we see some animals now? We certainly can. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we're gonna see. Hmm. This is Peanut. She is a beaver. Whoa, hello, Peanut. That is an amazing beaver. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. I'm going to pet it right here on her hips, if you like. Whoa, what does that feel like? It's so soft. <laughs> yeah. Is it dry? Mm, it's a little bit wet. Good, because she's a water animal. Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. Can, can Peanut swim really fast? Very fast, and she's very strong, and those teeth are used to gnaw on wood, <laughs> chew the bits. Whoa, <laughs> and now let's feed her some lettuce. Hey, Peanut. <laughs> mm. I want the crunchy part. Do you want a crunchy piece of lettuce? Oh. Ooh, I bet you'll like a carrot. As long Ooh. as it's not a oh. peanut, I guess. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Whoa, peanuts holding on to the carrot <laughs> and munching it. It's so crunchy. Whoa. Look how she uses those hands. <laughs> Whoa. And her nose is so big. Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how much bigger her back feet are than her front feet. Whoa, her back feet are so big. Come take a look. Yeah. Where's my, See where's my ferret? Come on up here. Yeah. Little front hands and paws and a really big back foot. Oh. And look over here. Peanut has a really big tail. Whoa. <laughs> look at her. A really big tail and some really big feet. <laughs> She's so cute. I love some cool animals like Peanut. What do you think that tail is used for? Hmm, I don't know. Do you know what the tail would be used for? Swimming. Swimming, huh, that makes sense. Because Peanut is a water animal, her tail helps her swim really fast. <laughs> wow, Peanut is so amazing. <laughs> Well, Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> Thanks, Peanut. Well, you gotta get back to the water, so <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hmm, I wonder what this next animal we're gonna see is gonna be. <laughs> it's a 
It's a bird. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird it is. <laughs> Let's ask. Whoa. Hi, Bobby. Hi. What kind of animal is this? So Taylor is called a yellow naped Amazon. He gets the name yellow naped because he's got that big patch of yellow on the back of his neck. <laughs> Whoa, do you see? Huh. My favorite colors are blue and orange, but it looks like Taylor? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, the bird. He likes green and yellow. Is that funny? <laughs> is that funny? Hello. 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 I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Taylor can talk? He can mimic what he hears, so he's not actually talking, but mm. it's pretty close. Wow. Right? Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> no, not today. Is that sad? <laughs> Oh, it's not sad at all. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Well, what else can Taylor say? So Taylor likes to mimic the sounds of other animals the best. Since he lives here at the zoo, do you want to show them how your kitty cat? <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's go bigger and louder on this one. You want to go bigger and louder? How about your tiger? Yeah. Whoa, that's a better tiger, tiger than me. <laughs> <laughs> but his favorite thing in the whole world is to scream! <laughs> he loves to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Taylor, do you want to show them some more cool stuff? Yeah? You want to show them how you warm up? <laughs> yeah, it's important to wing up and to warm up before you start singing anything. <laughs> that's amazing. Taylor likes to sing, and I like to sing. <laughs> Whoa! You want to sing a song for them today? I'll be your backup dancers. We'll be your backup dancers, okay? Here we go. We're gonna go with this. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It that is was a lot of fun. Amazing. Thank you, Taylor, for performing for us. You are so welcome. Everybody, have a goodbye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I love you too, Taylor. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Hmm, it's really bumpy, kind of rocky. This is a termite mound. Hmm, but I wonder why it's here. Hey, maybe Lisa knows. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Libby. Why is there a termite mound here? Well, Bobby is going to introduce you to Zola, our aardvark, who eats termites. Whoa, <laughs> an aardvark? Whoa, look at this. It's an aardvark. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. Hello. So this is Zola, and Zola is an aardvark. They're found out in Africa. Whoa, Zola has a really, really cool nose. Yeah, she has a really cool nose and a really cool tongue. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like too. Whoa. They get a nice good look. All right, you ready, sweetness? Look, Bobby's showing us how long Zola's tongue is. <laughs> Do you see that? Look, it's this big. Yeah, it is made for breaking into these termite mounds and eating all the termites inside. Wow, that is amazing. Zola, you are so amazing. <laughs> she is a pretty amazing animal. Yep, that's my pup, that's mine. There you go. Wow, and Zola has really big ears too. She has really big ears, so she has a really good sense of hearing, a really big nose, really good sense of smell, really big eyes, but you know what? Not a great sense of vision, because they are a nocturnal species, and they spend a lot of time underground anyway. Whoa, did you hear that? Zola is nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, that means they're awake at nighttime. Whoa, that's pretty silly. Hey, look, it looks like Zola's still really hungry. <laughs> yeah, she's always hungry for these termites, and we're gonna see if she can show you exactly what it would look like in Africa if she were to find a termite mound just like this. Yep, they're right in there. Whoa, look at her. Wow, she's really big and looks really strong. Whoa. Yeah, she's really big and really strong. She is 130 pounds of almost all muscle. Hello. <laughs> hey there, Zola. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like she's like to climb up tall. Yeah, she wants to get you uh, to give her some treats, but instead you want to give her a couple pets on the shoulder here? Yeah. Yeah, what does she feel like? Whoa, she's really soft. <laughs> it kind of feels like hmm, my beard. Yeah, Whoa. a little bit. <laughs> so people say they feel kind of like a pig, which is how they got the name aardvark, because aardvark means dirt pig. Oh. Oh, <laughs> dirt pig? 
aardvark. <laughs> so silly. Wow. And her hands, are those nails? Those are nails. They are really strong and sharp because in the wild, they would break open termite mounds like this. Whoa, yeah. Do you see her nails? Her fingernails are as long as my fingers. <laughs> Whoa. And that's because she needs to get into those termite mounds to get some tasty treats. That's right. You are an amazing animal. Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. <laughs> wow, hello. Well, Zola, Zola's my friend now. <laughs> We're just hanging out, eating some mealworms. Whoa, hey Zola. Come on over here. Look over here. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Very Whoa. nice, there we go. <laughs> So yeah, like I was saying, they have really big eyes, but their eyesight is not the best because they actually sleep in a burrow underneath the ground. Wow. So they actually use these nice, big, long hairs underneath their eyes to be able to navigate. Wow, look, there's all these hairs. Are those kind of like whiskers? Kind of like whiskers on a cat, yep, exactly. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Zola is so beautiful. She is pretty cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you today, Zola. Whoa, <laughs> that was so amazing, meeting Zola the aardvark. <laughs> hey, hmm, I wonder where Lisa went. Oh, hi Lisa. Hi Blippi. That was so amazing seeing Zola. Wasn't she amazing? <laughs> Were you surprised by that tongue? Yeah, it was so big. <laughs> and sticky. And sticky. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just... hmm. Are we going to meet another animal today? We certainly are. We're not going to meet the fastest animal, but we are going to meet one of the slowest animals. This is Xena. She's our two-toed sloth. Can Hello, Xena. <laughs> can you guess why they call them two-toed sloths? Hmm, can you guess why they're called two-toed sloths? Oh, Wait, they're called two-toed sloths because they have one, two toes. <laughs> so silly. Wow. She sleeps during the daytime too and is awake at night so that when she's moving around slowly, she can find the fruits and flowers that are have bloomed during the day. Wow. Can you feel her? her? Yeah, I'd love to feel her. Oh, she's so soft and gentle. Isn't she? What people don't know about sloths is that they can actually be really good swimmers, too. Whoa. I know. They can swim. <laughs> Absolutely. And they eat. Here's one of your favorites. So, uh... Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> oh, is that good? So cute. See how she's eating upside down? Sloths do everything upside down. They Whoa. sleep upside down. They eat upside down. <laughs> they even meet friends upside down. Whoa! It's like it's opposite day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Isn't she? Hey. Sloths are awake at night. Do you remember what word we use when an animal is awake at night? <laughs> yeah. That means this animal, this sloth, is nocturnal. <laughs> and really cute inside. That's right, and slow. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that part. Xena is so slow. She uh. is. <laughs> and showing us our, her best upside down face. Hmm. I oh, think... did you swallow? <gasps> another one. Time to give her another treat. Wow, look at those teeth. They're so pointy. Yeah, they look like triangles. That's right, that's nice and sharp to cut through the peels of any of the fruit that she might find in the trees where she lives. Ooh, <laughs> I like to eat fruit, Zena. Fruit is good. Mm, just like a sloth. Fruit is so sweet and crunchy and tasty. <laughs> ah, indeed, and she loves them all. Mm. Well, it was so nice to meet you, Zena. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs> Slowly. I'll see you later. Slowly Bye, Zena. walking away from Zena. <laughs> yeah, I think Zena you, Zena. is getting a little sleepy. She had a lot of snacks too. <laughs> wow, we learned about so many amazing animals. Yeah, they were so amazing and wonderful. <laughs> well, I think that's why it's so important to work on conservation. Yeah. We want to conserve the habitats these animals live in and also the animals so that we can see them and see how amazing they are for a really long time. <laughs> well, 
Thank you so much, Lisa, for introducing me to so many amazing <laughs> animals <laughs> and for teaching me and my friends about conservation. <laughs> I am so glad that you came because conservation is not only important to me, it's important to all of us. <laughs> so tell a friend. I will. You too. Tell a friend. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Lisa. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>